I have these sketchers and I'm gonna do um, a ball python wrapped around squishing it. So first things first is to clean them up with the the glazer. Well, take off the laces, of course, then the deglazer. So I'll be right back. So with the deglazer, you want to wash down any part that you're going to be painting. It takes off that coat. Um, and of course the laces just put those aside so I'm gonna go ahead and wash this down and make sure it's all clear and then we'll be back to show you the next step okay so I wiped it all down you can use like uh, other things to clean it off too but the Angelus is nice and mild it's strong but mild enough so it doesn't damage the material so that's why I use it. I like it. So what I'm going to do is start drawing a python and I'll do a little on camera and then it'll take a minute. So I'm just going to kind of go ahead and do it and then get back on with you. But basically going to put the head of the python here and kind of wing them around and let them wrap all around. So um, just to mark it so you guys have an idea, I'm going to put the I'd kind of right here, and I come bring him like ziggy zag here, so he kind of runs right back in. So I'm gonna do this, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like drawn out before I add the paint. All right, it's a little tricky to see, but it's, it comes across here, wraps under, kind of comes out over here, squeezing it, come across here gonna wrap the back and over to the side again so that was a quick tour but uh we'll put the first layer of color on it and show you that and so you can see where it's sitting so I did the base coat it comes down so it's gonna squish under here and cup up, up and around and then over and end right there so basically that's the base coat and now we're gonna go in and do some details kind of make him 3d make him look like he's popping off the shoe and squishing the shoe at the same time so be back with that so right now i'm just putting kind of the second layer of a dark brownish color i'm gonna finish it up and work it kind of around here and then once i do that i'm gonna put in the highlights like the yellows and the whites and really make it look like a snake and make it pop and then we're gonna put some shading in in here and around to make it look like it's sitting on the shoe instead of just a 2d drawing and i'm gonna work around the edges here to make it look like it's squishing the shoe so I'm using this tan and i'm working on highlighting around these areas here like this one so i'm literally just going through and kind of dab in the edge because I don't want it a solid shape because then it won't look realistic so it's kind of just filling in, dabbing kind of deal and I'm going to do that across for all of the patches maybe skip some of the smaller ones but highlight it to bring some dimension to the snake so we'll be back in a minute yes this is it I'm pretty happy with it for my first time I don't usually do actually it's my first time painting a snake and especially one wrapped around a shoe and crushing a shoe so all in all you know i'm pretty happy with it so hope you guys like it if so you know the deal like share subscribe and comment thanks for watching all right so i decided to go simple and keep it just a matching toe like literally nothing um, but yeah that's pretty much a finished product and I'm pretty happy with it actually I think I'm gonna put the green or dark brown into the zigzag here for color but that'll be it thanks for watching